Hi everyone, this is Dr. Omar. In this video clip, I will show you how to do homogeneity of variance test in SPSS. And we will use in this video a parametric Levin's test, one of the tests that are available in SPSS to do homogeneity of the variance. Now, Levin's test is an integral part of statistical analysis. It assists the equality or homogeneity or of variances. What does homogeneity of the variance means? It means that the variance have the same scatter from one group to another group. Values of data sets are scattered, spread out to about the same extent. The test looks at spread of the data, but not the actual value of the data. So it's not the actual value, it's how spread they are, how scattered they are. It is essential requirement, this test, essential requirement for parametric tests, such as ANOVA or student T test. It is an integral part of those two, two, two tests. If you do ANOVA or student test, in which I prepare a presentation and a video later on, you will notice that SPSS will calculate the Levin's test for your data. The Levin's test assess the quality of variances for variables for two or more groups. This slide show you the difference between homogeneity of variance and heterogeneity of variance. In this scatter plot diagram, on the x-axis, we have a group A to F. So we have groups A, B, C, D, E, F. And on the y-axis, uh, we have here a score from 0 to 50. Group A, B, C, D, as we can see, is labeled as homogeneity of variance. However, heterogeneity of variance is uh, exemplified in uh, uh, group A and F. The red dots in each group represent the value of the data within that group, and the, the uh, horizontal red line represents the mean or the average of, uh, for each sample. And uh, the spread of, uh, of the value of these um, data from the mean represent the variance. And as we can see here in group A, B, C, D, the scatter or the spread of the data is nearly homogeneous, nearly homogeneous. However, if we look at Sa'at's group E and F, we can see here that the spread of uh, the values of the uh, data uh, is heterogeneous and widely spread away from the mean. So group E and F is heterogeneous of var for variance and group A, B, C, D is homogeneous. So you can see here that these four are homogeneous these two are heterogeneous. These two with these four are considered heterogeneous in terms of variance. Now, Levin's test, there are two types, non-parametric Levin's test and parametric Levin's test. The non-parametric Levin's test, I will not discuss it or, may, or describe it here. I will make a, sp a special video clip for it. The Levin's parametric test test the hypothesis that the null hypothesis hypothesis that the groups whether they are two or three or four have an equal or homogeneous variance the alternative hypothesis the group have unequal or heterogeneous variance then the test will calculate the b value and if the b value is less than 0.05 then 
we reject the null hypothesis and accept the alternative hypothesis, which indicate that the variance are significantly different and parametric tests like ANOVA or T-test cannot be used and um, a non-parametric test have to be used. However, if the p-value greater than 0.05, then um, we accept the null hypothesis and uh, that's indicate that the variance are equal from one group to another. So how can we do analysis of variance or Levens test in SPSS? I'm going to show you four different ways to do it. To start with, I have here a data for 40 individuals. They are divided into four groups. In each group, group A to D. In each group, there are 10 participants or individual or cases. And a score has been recorded for each individual. And we need to look at the uh, uh, heterogeneity or homogeneity of variance between all these four groups. Before we start doing the test, uh, first step to do is to plot your data on a scattered plot, scattered or dot plot. And the way to do that is to go click on graph, click on legacy, scroll down to scattered or scatter dot, then click on overlay scatter, click on define. Here, I'm going to move Again, it does tell you where do you want to put the group in X and Y axis. Group uh, groups will put the groups in uh, um, in the scores in the Y axis and the groups in the uh, X axis. And then title will not do uh, change anything, and here will not do anything. And then we click on OK, and then a scatter uh, plots scattered or uh, scatter or dot dot will appear. And as we can see here, we can it's fairly to indicate that the variance are homogeneous between those four groups. However, we will do the test. The first test that we will, the first way to do the Levens test is to click on Analyze, scroll down to Descriptive Statistics, and then scroll down to Explore. And then here we want to move the group groups into the factor list and the scores into the dependent list. And if we cl click on statistics, <coughs> we're not going to do any changes. On the click on the plots, I'm going to untick this descriptive for stem and lift. We're not interested in normality, so we're going to um, do uh, s there is a here and a square is here area says that spread versus levis level with leaven test so we're going to click on untransformed and uh, so we need to do the levis test click on continue however in options we're not going to do any changes so if i click on ok then the spss will generate an output of course, it will give a case processing summary that you have 10 samples in each group, you have four group groups, and then it will give you the mean, the range, and so on. And then here in a small table, it's giving a calculated the homogeneity of variance using Levin's test. And as you can see here, the value, the significant, and generated the v-value. And we can see here from the uh, p-value, the, the p-value is uh, about point or point 0.4. So that still, it is non-significant. Thus, we reject the null. Uh, sorry, uh, the, they, are, they are not significant. Thus, we accept the null hypothesis, and that indicates that the data have homogeneity of variance. This is the first method to do a uh, Levens test. Another method is to click on Analyze, scroll down to Compare Means, 
and then I'm going to click on uh, independent samples t-test because uh, Levens test is a prerequisite for this test and it's part of this test so we're going to move the groups into sorry the groups into the grouping variable and then I'm going to set here I can select which group to go to uh, because it's two two sample two for two groups and we have two or four groups either I can go uh, um, select two groups together one with two one with three and one with four or two with three or two two with four or three with four here I will stick to one with two and click continue and then I'm going to move the score to the test variable and I'll uh, look click on option and we are going to keep it as it is and then I click on OK would you click on OK the t-test will generate a table calculating for you the value for the t-test but what we interested in here is it does automatically generate Levin's test of equality of variance and uh, between group number A and group number B and it's uh, the significant it calculate the p-value the p-value was found to be uh, uh, greater than 0.05 so uh, this indicate that uh, there is equality of um, variance or homogeneity. So this is the second way of doing a Levens test. A third way is if we click on analyze and then again compare means we're going to use here the test of one way ANOVA. In one way and ever, I'm going to move the scroll to the dependent list and then the groups into the factor. Again, one way, one way and over is going to compare the four groups together. So I'm not going here to select. It doesn't give me an option to select which group to group together. So it's look at the overall uh, variance in all four groups. If I click in contrast, I'm not going to do any changes post hoc is not an interest currently for us options in this option is significant to go for statistic and click on the homogeneity of variance test and then click on continue and if you hit the button for OK again the one way ANOVA will calculate the p-value for the test Levens test and um, and this in this small table which says test of homogeneity of variance it's worked out to be 0.4 which is greater than 0.05 so it is not significant here the value so that's where we can here accept the null hypothesis and we can say here that there is an equal or homogeneity of variance between samples this is the third way to do uh, Levens test. A fourth way is to again go through, click on analyze, and then look for um, click on general linear model and then click on univariates. In univariates, again, the group, the dependent variable is the score. We move this into the dependent variable. And the groups, we move that into the box of fixed factors. On the right hand side, I'm going to double click on this uh, universal univariate uh, model. Just keep it as it is. Contrast, we keep it as it is. Plot, we are not interested currently in doing the plot. Post hoc is not an interest currently. How will we save options? Here in options, you have in the display there are different icons so if we click tick this homogeneity test and then click on continue and then hit the button for OK the test the SPSS will do Levens test of equality of the error of variance and again it worked out the pay value and found to be 0.4 thus uh, the the variance between groups is homogeneous the p-value is greater than 0.05 so we accept the null hypothesis 
So by this way, I had shown you four different way to do Leven's test. The first way is through descriptive. The second way through ANOVA. Third way through t-test. And fourth way through univariate.